what's false is not fantastic. They need to know that what's gross is not great and that hideousness ought not make them happy. Right. There's some folk out here yeah. who need to know that they ought not to be lofty to lasciviousness. That they ought not to be indifferent toward iniquity. They ought not justify junk and think that is king to kill. There's some folk out here who need to know that misery is not meaningful. That naughtiness is not needful. You ain't got no business being open with your oppression. And that pain is not Peaceful. They need to know that ruckus is not a reality and that sin is not sensational and turmoil is not tranquility and that sorrow don't lead to salvation. They need to know that God don't want them making an effort to understand ugliness because God has sent us the best that heaven had to offer just so I could get out of my sinful state and straighten myself up and be right with him. It's not the fact that I've always had it together, but somebody took the time to teach me what I needed to know so I could change my life. It was the story about that man named Jesus who came down to this earth, who came through the process of a virgin birth. I'm talking about the man who walked the waters and who walked the seas and who straightened up those old crooked thinking Pharisees. I'm talking about the man who walked up to Lazarus' grave after four long days and Lazarus has stayed. I'm talking about the man who went to the garden of the sun on his knees. He knew his father's will. He had to appease. And Roman soldiers, they came with a list. And even Judas betrayed him with a betrayal kiss at the judgment halls. Our Lord did go. But what those judges did not know is that he was the Messiah. But see, the eyes were dim. And so they cried out to crucify him. And so I'm talking about the man who they led of Calvary's hill. And on that cross he did not steal. The man who they allowed to put nails in his hands so he could fulfill salvation's plan. This is the same man that when they put nails in his feet, he knew my pardon that he was getting ready to meet. And so he allowed them to hang him up on Calvary's cross just so my soul would not be lost. And when he cried out with a loud voice, when I read that in the Bible, my heart started to rejoice because I understood that when Jesus dropped his head and died, that my God, my God was crucified. But three days later, it was an early dawn. Oh yes, it was that bright Sunday morning. I don't know the time and I don't know the hour, but I know Jesus got up and said, I've got all power. For me he has won the victory and he is the one a many souls he'll save cause Jesus got the keys to death, hell and the grave of a much better man now because of the man who died for me and everybody deserves to hear about him we cannot be prejudiced when it comes to sowing this seed we cannot be the one who tries to determine yeah. who we yeah. and who won't. That's right. It's not up to you. That's right. Jesus said in verse 3, a soul yeah. went forth mm -hmm. to sow. Yeah. And he gives us the indication of how bountifully yeah. he was sowing. Yeah. When they said, song, yes sir, yes sir. By the way, and just how much he was throwing it out. Yeah, right, yeah. Everybody got something. Yeah, right, yeah. Even the wayside 
folk got some. Yeah. Cause the wayside folk need to at least get it. Yeah. Even if they don't receive it. Yeah. Jesus said, give it to them. Yeah. Cause they got a wayside. Yeah. Oh, as we are next week, we're going to talk about them folk. Yeah. By the wayside. Mm-hmm. A lot of us. Yeah. By the wayside. Well. Don't even recognize All right. Mm. It's that hardened heart. The wayside was a pathway that had been walked on so much that the earth had become coarse and cats. Have they ever been stepped on? Walked on? Walked on? Kicked to the curb? Up under the curb? Yeah. 